Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, this video I recorded uh, sometime last week, and for some reason I never got around to uploading it. Uh, and some of you know I'm taking a break from YouTube due to family issues, uh, so I'm gonna upload it now. Uh, that's why nothing happens to it or it gets deleted or anything, because uh, it's a pretty big, I guess you call it Malday. Uh, if some of you seen the last of the family issues I said I have, they're actually worse, but as of right now, everything looks like it's going to work out. Uh, so I may end up coming back earlier than I thought. Uh, so, enjoy the video. Uh, so this video is going to be pickups, maladies, and trades and the stuff I did over the last uh, three months. It's been a while. If we did a trade or something and it's not in this video, I'm sorry. Uh, if I find it, I'll make a separate video for it. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, first, the purchase off the of eBay uh, from 2009 TriStar TNA Knockout uh, Kiss Card of Terry Brooks. Uh, it's number to 75. Uh, the card does have a couple scratches here, uh, but the guy gave a partial refund off the of eBay. Uh, next is from 2009 TriStar TNA Impact. Kiss card of Awesome Kong. Sorry for the If you have any Kiss cards uh, you want to get rid of fairly cheap, especially the ones from 2009 Impact, because I'm trying to make this set, uh, let me know. Uh, if I didn't mention the number, the 99. Uh, next is a football card. It's from 2009. Tops Unique. This uh, Chad Oswalt Red Border. Number to 7.99. I'll just tell you the numbers because you won't be able to see it. Uh, from 2008, Top Smoke and Milestones, uh, Ken Griffey Jr., 115 RBI. Uh, that's actually kind of sad to see him retire. I uh, wanted to see him get some more home runs and move up on the all-time home run list. Uh, but I don't think anybody can argue that he's one of the best home run hitters of all time. And he's definitely one of the best home run hitters, if not the best home run hitter in the steroid era without being on steroids or being accused of being on steroids. Uh, so we'll definitely see him in the Hall of Fame in 2015. I believe it's five years you have to be retired before you can get in the um, MLB Hall of Fame. If I'm wrong, please correct me. Uh, that number is still 150. Uh, next is from 2009 Topps Debut Series 1, uh, Mike Moustakis uh, Auto. Uh, for the Wilmington Blue Rocks. Uh, some of you may not know Wilmington Blue Rocks is my hometown team. Uh, that's not number. Uh, I got in group break with the Cardboard Kid. Uh, it was, uh, I believe, a three-box case of 2007 Exquisite Rookie Signatures Baseball. It's only $25. And I got this Quad Rookie Auto of uh, um, Hunter Pence. Very nice card. This card is for sale or trade. Uh, this selection has a very little ding right down at two, uh, but it is for sale or trade. It's number to 199. Uh, so if you're interested, please drop me a PM or comment. Uh, next is the rest is going to be basketball uh, from 2009. Uh, Tops basketball gold border of Allen Iverson. I may show this before, but I'm pretty sure I haven't. It's number to 2009. Uh, next from 2005, Press Pass, uh, Lou Williams, On Card Auto. And his uh, McDonald's All-Star Game, All-American Game. Uh, his silver version number to 200. And also from 2005, Press Pass, the Lou Williams, On Card Auto, Gold Version. Number to a hundred. Uh, that is from 2007-2008. Sweet shot. Uh, what is a rookie auto? Yeah, sweet beginnings rookie auto. Uh, Derek Bear on ball. Well, that's kind of funny. His auto's all the way on the left and nowhere near the middle. Uh, but that's number to 7.99. Uh, Next two cards are from 2009-2010 SP Game Used. Uh, first is a Jason Smith Auto. 
that number. And this is a Marie Spinks Auto. Not numbered. I uh, got this off a trade. Uh, again, I'm sorry if I don't remember all the trades. Uh, I kind of don't remember who I got this off of. Uh, if it was you, please drop a comment. Uh, it's from 2007. Uh, Top Stadium Club. Uh, Bean Team. Jersey of Andre Godala. Not number. Uh, anybody could tell me this set. Uh, somebody said it was Bowman 48, but I'm not sure it was a Bowman 48 in 2008. Could be totally wrong. Uh, but it's a very nice card. I may uh, try to collect the set. Uh, anyway, it's from 2008. It's a Rajon Rondo jersey. Uh, link in the description box for a better picture of this. Uh, like I said, if you could tell me what set it's from, I'd greatly appreciate it. And that's not numbered. Uh, that's from 09... 2009-2010 SP Center Edition, uh, Glenn Big Baby Davis Auto, uh, number to 499. Rangers card. As most of you know, I'm a Celtics fan, so I was really pissed the Celtics couldn't get one win out of the last two games. When it comes down to it, they got out hustled. You can't win a game getting out rebound like they were. I think in Game Seven out of the First 10 rebounds, and we had two. Uh, you ha As you can say, the uh, Celtics didn't play hard enough, or you can say the uh, Lakers outplayed them. Uh, Lakers had more heart that night. Uh, whatever. All I can say is congratulations to the Lakers and the Lakers fans. That's kind of hard saying it because I'm a Celtics fan, but whatever. I showed this car in a mail day before. I believe I got this in a white envelope, and I said it was fine, but it isn't. I uh, have a crease from the S to here, and the corner to P to here. Uh, the guy refunded a partial amount of money, so it's fine. And I said it was a three-color patch. It's actually a five-color patch. Got a ding of white in the corner, gold, black, red, and blue. Uh, so a five-color patch. Uh, still very nice. Uh, that was from 2007-2008. SP Rookie Threads. And this card is the upgrade for my other one. This is now the best card I have in any of my PCs. Uh, it's from 2006, top finest. Uh, Allen Irison Auto. Very nice card. It's number the 65. Uh, very nice card. Corners are nice and sharp. Surface looks fine. I, all in all, I may end up getting this graded. It's a very nice card. Only thing I really see is wrong with it is like it's a little on the corner you can barely see a little bit of white there and right there that's still a very nice card and I got you see this in the background I got this a couple months ago but for some reason I didn't make a mail day for it or it did and I didn't upload it uh, so here it goes I'm going to take the camera up that's why you can see it better uh, see the certificate of authenticity it's uh, certified by Left field sportsman and Billy. Now someone come out has matching holograms. Very nice. There you go. It's an eight by ten autograph of Carmelo Anthony and Allen Irison, uh, two of my favorite players. Uh, the Carmelo is signed. Carmelo Anthony fifteen and Allen Irison is Allen Irison. Uh, if I had to pick my favorite piece of memorabilia out of everything I own, sports memorabilia, this would definitely be it. Uh, very happy I got this. I get, believe I got it for 65 shipped or something. It was very cheap. Or to me, it was very cheap. Uh, it has an NBA hologram right here. So it's very nice. Um, as most of us know in the video I made, LeBron James is going to put a Miami Heat. I uh, heard that the Miami Heat owner has been meeting with Allen Irison a couple times, so hopefully, I'm hoping and praying, or hoping that AI goes to the Miami Heat. Uh, if he goes to the Miami Heat, Miami Heat are just going to be disrespectful this upcoming season. And obviously it's the best chance of Allen Irison getting a championship, so uh, I'm going to say peace out to next time, YouTube. Peace out. May I make a video later on my thoughts of the uh, Allen Irison situation? So, till next time, YouTube, peace out again. <laughs>